Municipal producer Yu Xiao Wen recently had a conversation with a Needham-based documentary filmmaker, Sally Wu. Originally from Taiwan, Wu has co-produced and edited several documentaries that focus on social inequity. At the recent Salem Film Festival, which was held virtually from July 10th to July 30th due to COVID-19, Wu's directorial debut, The Good Daughter, made its North American premiere. The film took an intimate look into the matchmaking trade in East Asia, where women from poorer countries are paid to marry into families from richer countries. Wu's film is not the first or only one that sheds light on the so-called male order bride issue, but compared to many others that sensationalize the topic, the good daughter adopted a quieter approach. Over the course of almost three years, Wu followed the life of A Zi, a Vietnamese woman who married a disabled man in Taiwan in order to support her destitute family back home. Wu witnessed A Zi tirelessly work on her husband's garlic farm while doing extra jobs to send more money back to Vietnam. Meanwhile, she also struggles to maintain a marriage while being discriminated against and exploited by her in-laws. When I asked Wu how this issue came to her attention, a little to my surprise, Wu said originally she was curious about a region-wide issue of single father families. It's farming, it's fishing, it's rural area, but there is a high percentage of single father with these and in the mother left. So I, I, I started to get curious about this, this phenomenon. And I know the foreign bride phenomenon, you know, existed. If you can't find a wife in Taiwan, go to Vietnam, go to Thailand, go to, you know, Indonesia, you can easily find one. So I started to think um, these women's life is worth looking at. I don't know, you know, how to really help them, but I do want to shed a light on, you know, understanding these women's situations. And also mainly I really want people in Taiwan to know these women and treat them as just like themselves, one of them, and, and, and not, you know, discriminate against them. That's, I think that's my main hope. So at least you, you see them as, you know, equal. And then once your eyes are at the same level, then a lot of things could be different. Arts seem to be the lucky one like, compared to other foreign wom women who uh, probably like later on their husband treated them, them very poor and even like abused them. Uh, which one is more common? When this whole practice was established, it's, it's you know, you can spend $20,000 $20, to buy a beautiful, obedient, submissive, hardworking wife. So if you think about this, it's not hard to imagine how these women, you know, expect what's expected of these women. Mm -hmm. And of course, every family has different situation. Of course, everybody's different. I can't just say, you know, everybody's like this. Even though if they are having a good life or if they were successful in Taiwan or their relationship with their husband is good, still there's this part of them, I'm sure, you know, it's, I didn't really, this is not my first choice. Like she's not really forced to, to go into this marriage, but she doesn't really have a choice either. The film also includes Azi's niece, who intended to find a job in a city in Vietnam, but ended up seeking help from a matchmaker. She actually, in the end, she decided, or, or the family also decided with her that it's not worth it. That she's not really saving any money. It didn't work out meaning she can't help the family, she can't have a, you know, good future for herself. I asked Wu if she sensed the passive fatalism during the filming because everyone, including Azi, her niece, her husband, and even her father, ascribed their problems to fate or previous life. Azi's father, I mean, he's been through the war. What power does he have? So it's not, it, if you don't, you know, just put everything on fate and put everything on this, this invisible force. How can you explain, you know, the country or his life, like his, his teenage years and his, how he spent his years during the war? How do you explain that? So it's just the only way they find. 
As Aziz's two daughters grow older, she begins to question how much more she can keep giving to her original family in Vietnam. She must decide between helping the family from her past or providing a better future for her daughters. You can go to yuyingwu.net to learn more about the film and the filmmaker Sally Wu. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Liu Xiaoyuan.